within 24 hours of the release of the code llama model there's not one but two different open source large language models which are able to surpass gpt4 performance on the human evolved data set in the original code llama paper the authors showed that the base code llama is able to surpass the performance of gpt 3.5 on the human evolved data set but the performance was lower than gpt4 so in this video we're going to look at both of these models we will also quickly talk about the human evolved data set but rather than just testing these on the benchmarks i'm going to show you the results on a couple of uh, questions that the original code llama model was not able to solve okay so the first model uh, that we are going to be looking at is was released by Fend. i hope i'm pr uh, pronouncing this correctly they have an amazing search engine which i would recommend everybody to check it out okay uh, so this was the first model that was released um, in the last 24 hours and they are releasing basically two different models one is the fine-tuned version of code llama 34 billion model and the second one is the code llama 34 billion python model and the results respectively on the human involved data set are 67.6 percent and 69.5 percent now according to the gpt4 technical report gpt4 achieved 67 percent when it was tested uh, at the release time so this definitely outperforms gpt4 by a relatively small margin now by using their proprietary 80,000 examples high quality programming data set they were able to improve the performance of the uh, original code llama uh, models by substantial amount now these are great results but the new major news came from the wizard lm team the major development came from the wizard lm team so they have a code specific model which they're calling wizard coder now they had a, a previous version which is the 15 billion uh, parameter model uh, but they fine-tuned the uh, code llama 34 billion parameter model specific to python now from their evaluation they were able to achieve 73.2 percent now compared to the gpt4 performance this is a substantial improvement now where is actually this gpt4 performance coming from so when gpt4 was released to public uh, openai released a technical report alongside and over there they reported a performance of 67 percent on the human evolved data set you also see 48.1 uh, percent uh, uh, by the GPT 3.5, which is the chat GPT. So when Meta released their code llama models, they use the exact same numbers uh, in order to report the performance of uh, GPT 4 and chat GPT. However, the wizard coder team actually released an updated version. So they are really comparing it with the original model but they also perform their own evaluation. Now, in all fairness, the wizard coder team has provided performance values uh, for two different versions of GPT 3.5 and uh, GPT 4. So the one that you see with the uh, March 15 date, these were the original uh, reported by OpenAI. However, it seems like um, in the uh, current version, the performance has improved substantially both for gpt 3.5 and gpt 4 on the human evolved data set now if you compare the results of wizard coder with the current version uh, of the results which they got using the official api so it's still able to beat gpt 3.5 uh, by almost one percent uh, but it lags behind gpt 4 it's actually great to see that the wizard coder team put this together and made it very clear that they are simply comparing it with the original or official score that was reported by OpenAI. Now there has been some criticism around the human evolved data set. So if you look at it in details, it has only 164 original programming problems, which assesses language comprehension algorithms and simple mathematics. Right, so it's a relatively very small data set. Now, even though if you use this as a test set on uh, multiple iteration of the same model, it's actually possible to overfit your model to your test set. 
So it might be the case that some of these models might be simply overfitted to this data set, right? So we definitely need much bigger and probably relatively diverse uh, benchmark data sets from now on. Now, having said that, uh, we're not taking anything away from these amazing new models that are coming up. Just keep in mind, uh, at the start of the year, there was no open source model, which was even closer to something like ChatGPT. And now we're looking at a simple 34 billion parameter model, which is on par with ChatGPT for coding. Now that's enough uh, regarding benchmarks. I wanted to actually try this on some of my own code examples. So I simply tried the wizard coder model because that's the best model out there at the moment. Um, and I tested it on two different code examples, which the original code llama model was not able to solve. So the first one is that if you're giving given a string, write a Python function that rearranges the characters so that the matching letters are grouped together. The output should be string like this. So uh, for example, here is the original string and then the corresponding string will simply uh, put the uh, same characters together. Okay, so the original code llama was not able to solve this. I'm using the Gradio uh, app that was provided by the wizard coder team. And this is uh, the output uh, on the first try. I had to wait for it to uh, generate the response. So I'm simply showing you the pre-generated responses here. Okay, so I copied the code in a Google Colab. Then using the same example, uh, I was actually able to get the correct response. This is pretty amazing because uh, when I tested uh, the original code llama as well as uh, the chat GPT, they were not able to solve this on the first try. Uh, I have that video, so I'm gonna put a link to that video if you are interested in more comprehensive testing. Okay, so here's the second example. Write a Python function, Roman to integer, that converts a Roman numeral to an integer. Now the original code llama model was uh, not able to solve this, uh, but here's the code that was generated by the wizard coder. So when I tested that code uh, and provided uh, a Roman numeral, it was able to give me the correct answer. So this is amazing, at least on my tests, it's able to solve the two problems that the original code llama was not able to solve. So I would say uh, that at least the wizard coder is much better than the original code llama model. Okay, uh, that's it for this video. Some really amazing stuff are happening in the open source large language model space. Uh, and this is really exciting. I hope you found this video useful. Consider liking the video and subscribe to the channel. Also, make sure that you turn on the push uh, notification uh, because YouTube is not sending uh, notifications to all the subscribers when a new video is updated. So make sure that you turn on the push notification so that you don't miss a new video. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.